coffee in hand, let's get to some questions. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I have noticed that I'm getting a lot of questions on my life as a cruise ship singer video. Thank you guys so much for all the support and engagement on that video. But seeing as I had a whole bunch of questions, I wanted to spend today's video answering just a few of them because you guys asked a lot of questions. Here we go. Question number one, did you get to meet any famous people? Yes, I got to meet Guy Fieri, Styx, Little Big Town, Martina McBride, and RuPaul. RuPaul actually had a charter cruise where his television show RuPaul's Drag Race kind of bought my ship for the week. So they had like all his fans, whatever queens he had during that season. To be very honest, I didn't know this show at the time. I think it was like 2012 or 13. And he was like, not offended, he was just surprised that somebody in the performing arts hadn't seen his show. And the bands that I listed are from what was called Carnival Playlist Live. They would bring on bands while we were in the Bahamas. The bands would fly in, they would do a concert on board the ship. So the cruisers were A, on vacation, but B, got to see a live concert while in the Bahamas. It was really cool. Question number two. As a passenger, we give tips to cabin and dining room staff, but do singers get any kind of tips? Short answer is no. Long answer is our soloists on board, the ones that like play guitar in the lobby, they can get tips, piano bar can get tips, but other singers, they do not get tips. Those that you see in the show or playing in the big bands, they do not receive tips. Number three, how did it feel to get engaged on a cruise ship with so many people watching? I think this question stemmed from this video, getting engaged on a cruise ship. But this video, I made it very clear in this video that it was a prank. It was my assistant cruise director wanting to prank the new girl in the cast. That was Tom that you see in the video. And if you missed it, I will link it above in the cards. He waited until after we had done the Welcome Aboard show and he and the entertainment staff came out and introduced themselves. And then he called his girlfriend, Kristen, back on the stage and he proposed. P.S. I wish I'd taken a picture of the actual ring he used. I think he pulled like one of those cheap rings off of one of the entertainment staff girls and like put it on my finger and it was just, it was hilarious, but no, I was not actually engaged. Sorry if I did not make that clear, but go ahead and watch this video and let me know if that looked like a real engagement. Next question, do you have to pay for meals on board? Uh, we do not have to pay for the general meals in the dining halls where we eat, but if we also want to partake in the coffee shop, the sushi bar, the steakhouse, or other amenities or restaurants, yes, we do have to pay just like every other guest does. Next question, were there any bad storms and did you ever get seasick? I never got seasick, but there were a lot of storms, especially during hurricane season. I went through Hurricane Sandy. And by went through, I physically mean the hurricane was here in the Gulf and my ship had to go through it. It was a terrifying experience, especially as a crew member where we live at the bottom of the ship and you can hear all the waves hitting the side of the ship and you can feel like your cabin moving. There was a point in time where I actually remember laying in bed and I could hear my shampoo bottles hitting the sides of the wall because we were listing or tilting so much. Number six, what's the salary like? I've heard people can make a thousand dollars per day on board. I think out of all the questions I got, Questions pertaining to income and salary were like the most asked question and it's the hardest one to answer because it differs per cruise contract, per like what you're assigned to do, the position you're doing, like there's no one set, you're on board, here's how much you're making. For entertainment staff, it could be anywhere between like four to five hundred a week up to a couple thousand a week. I've never known anybody outside of like the playlist live performers, like the big names have gotten more than a thousand dollars a day. If you do call me, I'll be jealous. I'll be right there to take that job. But no, it really does differ. And if you look for jobs, like if you're actively seeking a job on a cruise line, once you find the listings, they will let you know. And it's usually a per week basis. They don't do a yearly salary because you're not on board for a year. You're on board for a certain amount of months. All right, favorite things to do in ports. Any favorite excursions? Yes, my favorite excursions were swimming with dolphins, the underground caverns in Mexico, and the Aztec ruins. 
If you've never cruised before, there's a certain part in the front lobby called the Shore Excursion Desk. They will help you find different things to do in each port of call. The way you don't have to kind of know the area to know like what's there, restaurants, excursions, so on and so forth, they will help you out. But anyway, those are the questions I'm going to answer today about life on cruise ships. If you have any further questions, leave them down below in the comment section with the hashtag letter Q, number four, and my name, Kristen. Leave them down below and if I get enough, maybe I'll make another updated cruise ship Q&A kind of video. If you guys like these, give this a thumbs up. And if you're watching this unsubscribed, go ahead and click that little red subscription down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one.